Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gladius Warhammer 40k Relics of War. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our march on many fronts. The northern section is being infiltrated by chaos and we're trying to do our best to prevent that. Our city currently is still not under pressure. But we have uh, seen a couple of orcs coming through and we need to fight there as well. I can't afford to split our troops and as much as I want to push forward against all of these horrors up here, I think it will be a futile effort. Chaos needs to be fully rooted out. There is no half chaos uh, rooting. Uh, that it is only either completely do it or I leave it. Anyways, we're going to uh, migrate back into the city. Trying to also defend here and maybe push back the orc. Maybe that is what I need to focus on doing. As you can see, we're getting majorly attacked. Oh, wow. Well fortress certainly was a good uh, was a good stronghold but unfortunately not good enough oh that was a misclick oh that was a misclick can I redo it no cannot that was unfortunate I wanted to fly down here and hit these guys Okay, well, we have almost no requisition, so we need to we need to work with what we've got. Salt Space Marines are nicely coming in. Tactical Space Marines are just waiting for now. Devastators are moving up. Chaplain is moving. And the one that is holding the northern flank, our captain, is healing himself to four. Very good. Okay, so the orcs. Our biggest problem. Oh no, we're being attacked at the, at the south and they captured our relic. Oh, come on. Well... Let's start fighting these guys back. We're focusing on the orcs now. We might be losing a couple of resources north and south. Oh, but we're being attacked. Even more dogs on the southern end. All right, so uh, let's, can we levitate? No, we cannot levitate. That is very unfortunate. That one misclick costed uh, us a lot of time. So these guys would very much die almost if we're moving in. Now that's good enough. We go in. And we're very much getting them down. Our captain here is loaded. He has the Dusk Blade, he has the Axe of Line Fury, so that is very good. What are we fighting here? A war boss. Uh -oh. Well, that's not good. Warboss almost down. Chaplain is moving up. And... Yeah, we're just moving everything down there. Maybe needing to drive the orcs back on this front as well. Okay. 
Yeah, the dogs here are a problem. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with all of them. Another war boss. One that takes a lot of damage from us, I like it. We're moving further in. Can't hit him. So, let's first of all move here, taking a little bit of an overwatch, that's okay. A few more orcs need to die, and this will be a solid kill. I should have moved him down first. Heading all the way to here. Wait, 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 wait. We still do have a couple of options. Oh, yeah. Let's heat them up. Why didn't it deal any damage? Minus 12 head points. Deals damage if the target is a vehicle or a fortification. How's this guy not a vehicle? Well, it says heavy infantry unit. Hmm. Okay. Another one of our fortresses takes a shot and let's hope that the dogs are corralling. They do have typically not a lot of sustaining power, but we're also not dealing a lot of damage against them. Oh wow, salt marines are almost dead. Let me correct that, salt marines are dead. Five point two, eleven point seven. How much hit points? No, that's not enough. It's just barely not enough. Six one plus eleven point seven. Yeah, that is enough. All right, good. Well, in that case, let's hit them. And let's kill them. We're life leeching back up. And we got a nice little level up. Healing Surge 3. Just what the doctor ordered. A little bit of overwatch damage, nothing major. We're instead going to go in and dealing some substantial damage. Shooting the heavier targets, the ones that need to take a lot of damage. And let's kill a lot of the orb boys. Okay, next up, down here, let's finish these dogs. We're already at half point. In terms of research, we need passive bonuses because currently I can't 
really afford building a lot of new things. And grant fortresses of redemption and invulnerability damage reduction seems like the right uh, play. Yes, we are heavily, heavily relying on them. Yeah. These dogs are crazy. How is the dog level 9? It's completely unheard of. Alright, let's take a couple of overboard shots. Nice try. Good, killing the boys there. We're moving up with our space marines. And let's move up and almost kill that war leader. Correction, let's kill that war leader. Got a ni nice, level, little, uh, nice little level up uh, with the chaplain. And Oration of Restoration. Consumes everything, five turns cooldown, six hit points, restores hit points of chaplain and adjacent allied units. That's the kind of AoE heal that I was hoping for. And we got Orbital Strike. Calls down an Orbital Strike on the target enemy. Great. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, 12 points of damage here. Regain some hit points. Moving up the chaplain. AoE damage. Wait, wait, wait. That was a lot of damage. I like what I'm seeing. Good, we only got the mega knobs here. And we are going to definitely take back some of our positions here. We're going to lose against uh, the dogs, likely, unless something miraculously happens. In terms of city, we are currently constructing orbital relays, which should build faster. Um, and I think we need Devastator Marines. Those are the only ones that really seem to carry their weight if you leave them further behind. I could have gotten a second... Sh Wait a second. Saiken, are you crazy? I could have gotten a second chapter. Let's can't cancel that. A second librarian. The heroes are just so much better than the normal units. Well, duh, they are heroes, right? Of course they are. Need to definitely upgrade energy. Yeah, we can't do that. I need energy first. Sucks, but it's the only thing. Five turns and we're almost out of energy. I don't even know what happens if the energy drops. We have a lot of destruction, so that's a problem. 
And we're ordering cities to sleep at the moment. Yeah, at the moment, please, no more units. Let's hope that the doggos are running away. Yeah, we need to unfortunately flee a little bit. And begin to heal. Oh wait, we do have that. Let's just make sure we're healing. I don't want to be killed by a random, what's it called? Mega mobs. They're dealing a lot of damage. Orbital strike. 21 points. Of, okay. Yeah, pretty damn good. Move up. And you will eat our swords. Very good. Okay, we have started to push back the orc on this front. A fortress of redemption here would go a long way. Uh, it's a difficult uh, to traverse area. But we could also use one in the middle here, potentially more important since there is a city. One over here would be nice. Here. So that it can't be attacked, you need to go through here. Another war boss. Alright, back. Shortly distracted. So, what did we want to do? Let's start at the south of the map. We're still having 6.1 hit points left over. These guys are now down to half and hopefully will be fleeing. We are charging in with our captain first. Uh, who can't order another orbital strike, but can go nicely in and uh, kill a couple more of these killer cans um what a what an interesting name by the way all right moving up with a chaplain and with our marines marines are shooting from the back line and i think we're going to heal everyone Nice. Good. And I absolutely love the Devastator Space Marine. So far, one of my favorite units. Together with a solid front line. Good. Up here, 
0 0.9. Now we're taking the 3.1. Oh no, we can't even hit him. Okay, never mind. Healing the chaplain. And we're getting another librarian. Got a problem here with the energy. I hope we are not losing the game if we're at zero resources. Ah, the dogs are still not fleeing. That's a problem. Wow, that was 3.4 damage. That's a lot. Okay, we need to go back and uh, shortly heal. We will go back in, but the six points of healing are helpful. Continuing to heal here with our with our hero. We're likely going to lose this one here. I can't see how we're realistically going to win. shoot no we cannot good but we're going to push in from here and we'll kill the vazdaka just need to hold on that side these mega knobs are super strong they're dealing a lot of damage tons and tons one more round and we can put a new fortress in 2.7 that's likely not enough to survive but we're going to figure out whether it is oh more uh, doggos fantastic all right these orcs are fighting against one another might be a neutral orc or whatnot, but interesting. Uh, we got a new fortress coming in. And I wanted to place it here. We're dealing a nice, solid amount of damage. In the meantime, light here. Yes, please. Levitate and take the punishment. And then dish out a large amount of damage with Shockwave, which is actually quite good. Gotta admit, one of the best skills that I've seen so far. Okay, on the other side, what are we going to do here? Hit the war boss. Almost down. Move up. Veterans are moving up here. Everybody gets rights of war all right let's kill these guys 
bit of experience for us. And the war boss goes down as well. What is this? 10% maximum hit points. Okay. That sounds like something I would love to get my hands on. So we've lost our um, artifact down here. 40% research cost. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Um, and these crude hounds are now roaming the lands. But unfortunately, I'm so busy with the orcs, can't really deal with any of uh, that other stuff. Good. What are we doing in our main city? Devastator Marines? Good. Another Librarian? Good. We're at zero energy. That's not good. But apparently we've not lost the game, so not everything is bad automatically. Seven point nine. Oh boy, our librarian just barely survived. Holy! could move in, hit, but that would not be good. Don't have levitate at the moment. Let's heal up. I don't want to lose a hero. Good, Fortress levels to level 2, but that war boss is uh, still very much active. Moving up. Everybody here gets some experience. I like it. So we're just keeping our veteran units behind the lines. And our capital is requiring more space. So let's build up down here. Ten percent energy shortage. Okay, well, at least we're getting some energy now. Let's end the turn. Yeah, the dogs are starting to come closer. And these guys are dealing crazy amounts of damage. Focus fire on the orc boss. We've lost another resource. Let's move into the 
fortress here that allows us to really rest. Fortress defense against uh, some of uh, the hounds, that's good. Nice, level six, level seven space marines. And we got some leveling up here as well. So either more influence, six per point of experience isn't bad. I think we're continuing with that. And got some more leveling up to do. I think we're continuing with loyalty. Hmm, I don't want to use the Orbital Strike yet. I think we are going to save that one. But we're increasing our damage for two turns. Thanks to Combat Stimulant. Our Space Marines, after gaining so many levels, have leveled up from 12 hit points to 20. And they are now level 7, which is fabulous. They are units of the first uh, minute, the very first turn. Good, we definitely need to root this one here out. Weird boy, okay. Indeed, looks weird. These guys, the Mega Knobs, are my biggest problem at the moment. Super strong units. Destroyed our fortress there. And now we got the Stronghold Shielding. What does it do? Stronghold Shielding. 50% uh, no damage. Okay. That's actually not too bad. Warboss would get us down if we're not healing. So healing we will. Got another Librarian. Um, I like the shockwave, I must say. So... already got a library in there ah, and I misclicked again my bad next librarian definitely needs to go over here in the meantime our most venerable units are crushing the enemy rights of war Moving in. Uh, 16, that looks fantastic. Yeah, 
and we almost got them down i like this unit very compact i very much like how we're how we're moving up there is another artifact there i wish i could take that maybe with a new redemption fortress we waste so many redemption fortresses over here good in terms of city building we wanted to build faster so orbital relay is the next idea then afterwards more energy okay what do we have boulder drill chapter tactic close combat mastery increase armor penetration of melee weapons it's great uh, grants devastators the ability to negate the damage penalty for salvo weapons a thunder cannon or a Vindicator. I mean, look. The lower ones... We could easily get. Yeah, but we need... We need uh, passive bonuses. Uh, our biggest problem is we're still resource starved. Continuing to duel against uh, this guy. Veterans are killing. I like that. And this here is one of their towers. Well, a boss tower, apparently. Taking a couple of shots, and yeah, we're slowly but surely getting that boss tower down. And I have to wonder, I think... Move into here. And then letting him retaliate on his own damage is the right call. Next turn we might be able to shockwave him to death. Maybe need to use another captain. Another captain definitely would be great. But you know what, guys? It sounds like a perfect time to end uh, this episode. Uh, we fought a very valiant war, had losses in the south. Still trying to kind of hold that middle section, thanks to our heroes that is happening. But we need reinforcements, specifically more Devastator Marines, to help uh, deal a lot of damage here not really dealing that much at the moment and then both of our sides should be pushing into this middle section to teach the orcs a valuable lesson and really push them back one thing that i must say about this game is it keeps you on your edge uh, on your seat 
it's really really close but yeah i think we can uh, pull off a win against the orcs what do you think let me know in the comment section down below and see you in the next episode take care and bye bye